In engineering, we often make idealized assumptions to understand certain physical phenomena. For example, to bring out the influence of viscosity, we idealize the flow as steady, incompressible, and isothermal. These assumptions help simplify the governing equations and make it easier for us to solve the flow field and obtain useful solutions to study real viscous flows. However, when it comes down to engineering products, we might not be able to justify all these assumptions accurately. In certain cases, we have to include other areas of fluid dynamics in our analysis to obtain accurate estimates. We will introduce three such areas, fluid compressibility, heat transfer, and flows with moving and rotating parts. We will provide an overview of what these areas entitle and where we can apply these analysis. All matter in nature are compressible. This means that these substances can reduce volume under the application of pressure. The reduction in volume is negligible for all solids and most liquids. Such substances are called incompressible. Water and oil are good examples of incompressible fluids. Under these conditions, density of the fluid can be treated as constant. Having said that, Water becomes compressible under certain conditions which include studying underwater acoustics that involve propagation of sound waves through water. Hydraulic shocks and water hammers are examples where water becomes compressible. If the change in volume under pressure becomes significant in the system, then compressibility cannot be neglected. For example, most gases are treated as compressible at high speeds because of the density variation. The flow around the wing of a cruising aircraft is compressible. The same gas flow under low speeds can be regarded as incompressible. We will learn about the compressibility of fluids and the primary difference between an incompressible and a compressible fluid. Heat transfer is another branch of physics which studies the transfer of thermal energy between physical systems. This transfer of thermal energy or heat is important to predict the temperature of the body. In fluid dynamics, heat transfer can occur between two fluids or between a fluid and a solid which is regarded as conjugate heat transfer or even between two bodies in vacuum. A fan in a CPU blows air over electronic circuit board where the flowing air picks up the heat generated by the semiconductors. This helps maintain the electronics at lower temperature, thereby improving its reliability. Heat exchangers are widely used in refrigeration, air conditioning, power generation and process industries and are designed based on the principles of heat transfer. In fact, thermal insulation for firefighting and space applications are dependent on the fundamental behavior of heat. There are primarily four modes of heat transfer, conduction, convection, radiation, and phase change. We will introduce the first three modes of heat transfer. In fluid dynamics, we have two types of flow. In the first type, we treat the object of interest as stationary with respect to the flow. The flow through an oil pipeline is a good example of this. In other scenarios, the object of interest is translating at a constant speed with respect to the surrounding fluid. An example of this scenario can be a car cruising on the road. When viewed from inside the car, it would seem like the surrounding air is blowing over the car at the same speed as the car is traveling. In these cases, 
a simple transformation to the reference frame of the object will make it stationary with respect to the fluid around it. However, there is a third class of applications in which the object is moving through the fluid with a time varying velocity. In such cases, the object of interest is under acceleration. A good example of this flow is flow through any rotating machinery such as a pump or a turbine. When a footballer kicks the ball in air, it travels with a velocity under the influence of gravity before it falls back on the ground. To analyze these motions, we need to learn about different methods of understanding the fluid flow with rotating and moving objects.